What's up, curl friends? Today I'm going to show you step by step how to use our heat cap on wavy, high porosity hair. First, you want to start by rinsing your hair with water. Water should always be your base product. Next, grab your shampoo and apply directly to the scalp only. Oils and buildup start at the scalp, so we want to focus all of our cleansing efforts here. Rinsing will take care of the rest of your strands. Use enough shampoo to create a super lathery, suzzy scalp and begin fingertip massaging for 15 to 30 seconds. If you notice lack of suds, this is one of the first signs that you still have dirt and product buildup. If this happens, rinse hair of all suds and reapply shampoo. When you have a hair full of suds, this is a clear indication that the shampoo is fully removing the excess dirt and buildup. Grab your shampoo exfoliator and begin massaging all around the scalp for 1 to 3 minutes. Begin with small circular motions, making sure to exfoliate every inch of your scalp. This step is crucial, curl friends, especially if you go more than four to five days without washing. Removing buildup is necessary in order to maintain a healthy scalp and hair. Make sure to rinse and remove all suds from hair. Next, we're gonna use a deep conditioner, and today we're using a protein mask. Using protein at least twice a month is beneficial in that it temporarily closes very open hair follicles, aka high porosity hair. Closing the hair follicles allows hair to retain products and creates more moisture, which actually contributes to reducing frizz. But before adding conditioner, separate hair into at least two to three sections so we can better distribute deep conditioner into our strands. Also, make sure that your current section of hair is soaking wet with water before applying conditioner. Start by squeezing, raking, and lathering the conditioner into your strands. Make sure that you also get the ends as well as the roots as much as possible. Grab your brush and begin detangling. Once section is completely detangled, lightly twist to encourage a defined curl and wrap into a bun, or just leave in a twist, whichever you're more comfortable with. And that's it, curl friends. Repeat steps in the next section. Remember to start each section with a water base. Apply deep conditioner and begin raking, lathering, and squeezing into strands. Make sure to really get the roots and the ends of your hair. These areas tend to get less attention sometimes. Also, make sure hair is saturated with enough water so that strands can fully absorb conditioner. With our heat cap, this conditioning process would normally take three to four hours in the salon and would cost anywhere from $30 to $70 extra, depending on where you go. This heat cap is literally a game changer, curl friends. After hair is fully detangled, coated in conditioner, and twisted to help train curls, place shower cap over hair, making sure to cover the entire hairline. This will help curls retain moisture and protect the heat cap from getting wet. Now it's time to get our heat cap ready. But first, there are a few ways to go about this from here, so let's make sure you have a game plan. My go-to option is leaving my conditioner and plastic cap on my hair while finishing up in the shower. Then I get out fully dressed and heat my cap. And when my designated time is up, I just rinse my hair in the tub. Another option is to have someone heat the cap for you while you're showering. Just make sure you place another plastic cap over the heat cap because they are not waterproof, curl friends. The last option is to get out during the middle of your shower, heat it yourself, and return to the shower once you're done heating your cap. Again, just make sure to place another plastic cap over the heat cap so it doesn't get wet. The method you're watching today is solely for the purposes of this video, but the choice is all yours, girlfriend. Okay, let's get started. First, you want to make sure that you have a 1000 watt microwave and it can be found somewhere in this area. Next, make sure the heat cap is laying flat in the center of the microwave and make sure the elastic side is facing up and heat for 45 seconds. Take the heat cap out of the microwave, flip it inside out and return back to the microwave flat with the elastic side facing up and heat for another 45 seconds. For the third and final time, take cap out, flip inside out, and return back to the microwave for the last 45 seconds. Place cap on your head and leave for at least 15 to 30 minutes. Just remember, the longer the better. It just depends on how much time and effort you'd like to put in. Also, if your cap starts to cool down before your designated time is up, place it back in the microwave in 25 second increments. After you've reached your designated time, remove your caps, and if you have twists, now is the time to unravel them. Wait two to five minutes before rinsing. This will just allow hair to naturally cool down before running water on it. Rinse thoroughly with cool water to help seal in all that goodness of nutrients you just applied. Grab your microfiber towel and begin scrunching until you've reached your desired saturation. And that's it, curl friends. For more tips and tricks, visit kscurls.com and watch our styling video next. Thanks for watching, curl friends. Bye.